Long division. For long division, we need to understand a few things first. The parts of a division. So we have a dividend, 11, divided by a divisor, 2, which equals our quotient, 5, and R, which means remainder, and here we have a 1. The divisor is separated from the dividend by a right parenthesis, or vertical bar, and the dividend is separated from the quotient by a vinculum, an overbar. Step 1. Look at the first number of the dividend from the left. Check if this number is greater than or equal to the divisor. If you can divide it, write the number that you can divide by on top of the bar. In this case, we can't divide 2 into 1, so we put a 0. Step 2. If you have written a 0, move to the next column and combine the first and second number. So now we have 11. Divide the divisor, 2, into the tens dividend, 11, and write the answer on top, and the divided amount under the dividend. So here we have 2 divides into 11 5 times with the answer of 10. Step 3. Subtract the result from the dividend and write the difference below. So 11 take away 10 is 1, and we are left with a remainder of 1. Step 4. Normally you would bring down the next digit of the dividend if there is one. In this example, only a remainder of 1 is left. Step 5. Write any remainders at the end of the quotient, the answer, as R followed by the remainder. So here we have 5 remainder 1. Long division with a two digit number. Step 1. Look at the first number of the dividend from the left. Check if this number is greater than or equal to the divisor. If you can divide, write the number that you can divide by on top of the bar. In this case we can't divide 22 into 2, so we put a 0. Step 2. If you have written a 0, move to the next column and combine the first and second number. Divide the divisor into the tens dividend and write the answer on top and the divided amount under the dividend. Step 3. Subtract the result from the dividend and write the difference below. In this case, 23 take away 22 equals 1. Step 4. Bring down the next digit of the dividend. If we bring down the 1 to the other one, we now have 11. Step 5. 22 cannot go into 11, so we need to add a 0, followed by a decimal point, and a decimal point and a 0 at the end of our divisor too. Then bring down the next number, 0. So now we have 110. Step 5. 22 can go into 110 5 times. So now we have the answer, 10.5. This completes the dividing and gives the final answer.